Now, the important question is, have you had dinner yet, David? No. For God's sake. Fuck's sake. What? It's fine. All I did was run downstairs for like one minute and grab it and come back up. Yeah, but it's the timing. You always do it at the exact worst timing. You mean at the start? It's... Well, it's like... whenever we start. <laughs> yeah, it's tradition. Yeah. So, this so, so you, tell them, you tell them to hold your dinner. <laughs> Until we start. Well, at least if we're making you get up at, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning, uh, you're not going to get your breakfast, fucking dinner. Breakfast, fam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, breakfast. You can wait. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can wait until the start of the stream and then get my breakfast. So here's the other thing I'm thinking is, are you going to have, like, uh, Mexican Jesus as your roommate again? No. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna track him down and bring him to my new apartment. <laughs> well, that's just the Sorry, other thing. Mexican I Mexican was... Jesus? What did I miss here? Uh... Do you remember, um, remember one of my roommates when I was in Japan was this Mexican guy who did meditations. Oh, and it was uh, nice. he had, he did chants during the meditations and it was really loud and annoying. I see. Sounds my like a dream roommate. roommate. Day there, I am. Um, fell asleep on my bed right away out of exhaustion and was woken up by him. <laughs> now nice. you're gonna be the asshole who's loud at, you know, four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh oh shit, you are. Yeah. Sure am. Which is worse, being woken up by some Mexican dude doing, like, what kind of chance were they, like, Christian chants, or...? Over and over. I see. I have no idea what that's meant to be. I think it's like Punjabi or something. Uh-huh. Well, uh, would, you rather be woken, would you rather be woken up by that? Or by some like, asshole pretending to be a vampire for four hours straight? See, the kind of stuff I talk about when I'm doing these, you wouldn't even think I'm pretending to be a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm just a sex... Mm -hmm. Anyway, my dinner's ready. Alright, I figured nice. that's why I did not actually start. I <laughs> see. Well, I'm just going to go get dinner again. Yep. Hello. Alright, there we go. Now, guys, I've got a bit of bad news. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The open will be finished in 12 minutes, and I'll have to run down to get it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. So what did you leave for this deal. time? <laughs> <laughs> he, he ran like, down to I, see I, I if you, in 12 minutes he would need to go get dinner. You did. I told you he was going to go have schedule it again now because you didn't start the session. Miles, this is why you're going to need to adjust your schedule to put Japan further out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> guys, I just have to meet up earlier. I don't know. You that was know. one of the first things I told my friend, by the way, was um, it was out at 8, but we actually started like 9. Yeah. Look, it's not that big a deal, guys. It takes like 10 seconds. <laughs> uh, it, it takes longer just... than 10 seconds! You just did it and it took like 4 minutes. <laughs> it did not take me 4 minutes just it now. absolutely... I'm actually looking at the timer on the thing. Yeah, it did! Nah. <laughs> nah, I don't believe it. Stop being American, David. Nah. <laughs> It'll take 100 minutes. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get started anyway. Yay. So, the four of you are all uh, at the hospital with Madison uh, when you are approached by uh, a number of individuals. There are four of them uh, total, and this is as you're kind of coming out of the hospital, or uh, out of the room, rather. Mm-hmm. So, you definitely recognize one of them uh, from the encounter you had way back in the first episode where uh, the midget was meeting up with a member of the Camarilla who then uh, flew off into the distance. Oh. I do recall. All right. Is he an old man? Uh, no, he is not. Oh. Well, I guess I just wrecked what you thought was happening, didn't I? Mm-hmm. 
You really did. <laughs> Let me uh, read the image. While I'm waiting for Mary to get settled. Uh, he is rather attractive, eyes are ice cold, and his blonde hair is always tied in a ponytail. He wears a simple conservative suit. So mm. not Steven. No. Okay. Okay. So, besides that, there is also a, uh, an African, uh, North American, as far as you know, man. Uh, mm -hmm. and then sort of, uh... I guess sort of a weaselly looking untrustworthy guy, kind of lower class, looks like a meth dealer, kind of. Brian. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and a distinguished looking older man is there as well. That's Steve. Ah. And so uh, as you guys are coming out, you can see the, the meth dealer looking guy kind of, he has a hand in sort of the waistband of his pants. And he pulls back his coat to show that he has uh, a very large handgun. It's definitely... Well, actually, uh, Jean, give me a perception plus firearms. Sure. I wonder who uh, this could be. be. Six with a specialty. All right. So you definitely recognize it as an Israeli military industry's Desert Eagle. It's uh, kind of a famous gun because they use it in a lot of video games. Um, because it's very large and powerful, although in a real combat situation, it's very rarely used. It's mostly, it's got way too much power. It's just something someone uses to compensate when they don't really know anything about guns, and they just <laughs> want something that makes a loud bang. Um, it tells you this guy is probably not much of a threat. <laughs> Oi. Mate. It has a high damage output. Yep. Yeah. Sounds like I got a low roll on this. <laughs> no, you did Otherwise, not. This I is exactly, know. if you look up any sort of information on the Desert Eagle, it will tell you that it is way too much gun. It's very hard to use, which is why it's so impractical. Well, surely it's easier for a vampire with superhuman strength to use. It is possible that this guy could have some sort of freakish Joseph level strength. Yeah. Although he looks kind of like a wiry teenager meth dealer, so you're thinking maybe uh, not. So probably not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So no, they are definitely question. here confronting you. They haven't said anything, but they are standing in front of your group. Mm-hmm. Well, who wants to do the talking here? I would assume you. Oh yeah. Am I like the social one of the group? <laughs> Actually, no, it's no. Joseph. Actually, Joseph is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, my vote still goes for Sean. <laughs> Mary? I'm a nice guy, though. I guess if nobody steps forward, I will say, can I help you? Uh, the older man says, let's not have any unpleasantness. Just surrender yourselves and come along with us. Can you please hmm. tell me what this is about? I think you know what this is about. Then she wouldn't have Are asked. Are you responsible for the woman in there? It is uh, <clears throat> a portion of the attack that it, a portion of the attack which is underway. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> the social one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna, need a, I'm gonna need a charisma roll on that one for seduction. <laughs> I mean, you could... Well, no, wait, you look like a woman, don't you? You couldn't use seduction. Um... <laughs> <laughs> <Not a Steven. laughs> um... Alright, well, possibly it would be best to go with you for now. Since I don't foresee us uh, getting into... This is not what I'm saying out loud, but I, I highly doubt that it would be wise to uh, just throw down here in the hallway of the hospital. Uh, by the way, just in terms of your guys' armaments, uh, David, uh, your, you went fully auto, as I recall, in the last fight, so your handgun yep. is completely out of ammo. I have a spare mag. Um, 
I do not recall you ever informing me that you purchased a spare magazine. No, I did. I have it marked on my sheet. It says extra magazines one. All right, then fine. You do have one reload. Okay. So you also still have the shotgun. All right, good. But there's what? Did I not uh, give my knife to someone last fight? Um. Yes, you gave the knife to David. I think. Uh, yeah, well, I, I think, think so. The, I think the the gun killed him before. If you want to have given the knife to someone, you can choose who you want to have it. But on our drive to Quebec, I would have assumed he had given it back to you. That would make sense. Yeah, I assume I probably have taken it back then. All right. All right. So in that case, I'm just ready with my knife. I have right. like my hand on it in my pocket, on my okay. pocket, my coat. Your pocket. Yes, so, have a knife sticking out. The older man. <laughs> Holds his, puts his cane into the one hand and then snaps his fingers and uh, the the man who you saw fly away from you opens up a duffel bag and says place your weapons inside. Are you really doing this? I don't are know, we, are, are you? Are throwing down in the, you know, it's up to you. I'm not going to start something. We so could I'll, flee. I'll look at you um, quizzically since I don't have any weapons. We could okay, I don't have any weapons either, you know. <laughs> okay, we could. All right, so the two guys with celerity could flee. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got a feeling the other is, two would be screwed over by that. They mentioned that there is a uh, an attack underway. Mm -hmm, if we go mm -hmm. with them, we might find out more information. We might also be trapped. <laughs> That's true. And killed. That's yes. also true. Yeah. In our eyes, these are four strangers who are clearly hostile who come up to us and go, Hey, surrender. <laughs> I will point out, time. if you guys do choose to fight here in the hospital, it will definitely be a breach of the masquerade. But we don't mm -hmm. care as much about them. We're solid, though. <laughs> Except that we do. Yeah, presumably uh, they yes, are as well if they're willing to fight. it is very clear that within Montreal, you're not supposed to cause any breaches of the masquerade. Oh. That's true. I just remember the last time one of us surrendered. It didn't go that well. <laughs> so if you guys want to go, I, I am going to just sort of step out of the way back. Yeah, I was going to say we're going to like a patient room or something and see if they're willing to actually start shit. So, if you guys want to start, that's fine. Mm. I'm just not trying to surrender and then get staked again. I'd rather we try and flee then. So, what are you so, guys like, going to do? So, yeah, so we my vote is, my vote is flee. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to, but, well, you know. So, so Mary, what's your vote? Uh, my vote is I will probably be captured, so I'm probably just going to go with them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I just pick uh, you up and run with you? If you could do you that. Want to pick me up and that would take a lot of uh, extra that's time. That's gonna be. Uh, you are a woman, and I am a man. That's gonna look weird. Yeah, I mean, um, you're already violating the masquerade, so, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so. But if you guys want to take off and they just take me, that's fine too. That's not fine. <laughs> that's true. They probably with your vinculums, it would be very difficult for you to flee if not everyone is making an attempt to flee at the same time. Yes, Josephine would be very conflicted. How about you ask them if they can guarantee our safety if we go with them? So, okay. So, obviously, we don't want to go with you to be killed. Um, can you, I mean, what's the purpose, again, of us going with you? You have my word as an Englishman that you will be, uh, what, sorry, you have my word as a subject of the British Empire. Huh. I forgot he was Welsh for a second. <laughs> this is Stephen talking to me, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That you will be, uh... I am from Jamaica. <laughs> the word of the English doesn't hold much weight with me. Mm. Very well. You have my word as a member of House and Clan Tremere. That you will be treated as prisoners, uh, fairly, as prisoners of war, as long as you are in my custody. That doesn't sound like we'll be treated too well. That just don't, that just don't sound appealing. 
Will the rest of you make similar claims? And then the the meth dealer's like, yeah, I'll swear as a member of the British Empire. <laughs> Which I am. Which I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> David approves. He's got like some sort of strange accent. <laughs> and on your clan. I'll swear as a member of the British Empire. <laughs> so, no clan Malkavian. <laughs> I would never <laughs> besmirch the honor of Clan Malkavian by breaking my word. Damn. He says it okay. dead serious looking right in your eyes. Oh, no, so I don't, the time has I'll, come, I'll turn my gaze to the others. <laughs> I do have to run for my food, so I'm just going to let you guys know now, out of character, my vote is to go with these guys. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll look expectantly at the other two then. Fine, I guess we can go with these guys. No, I mean, like the other guys, if they also swear on their clan. Uh, so, <laughs> all right. Give me a uh, a perception plus empathy. Oh, you're just going for my best rolls, aren't you? That's a free. Um, you do not notice anything. Uh, the others. Uh, mine's four. Perception plus empathy. What are, you, what are you checking here? Just something. Well, I can't tell you! It's three. Well, they are clearly. <laughs> but I thought, I thought I did this role in response to something I said. Um, not exactly. I assume you guys are all watching them. Yeah. I assume as a group you are watching them. So no one sees anything. Alright, so David, give me perception plus empathy. Seven with a specialty in all specs, isn't it? Ew. Mm -hmm. All right. So the uh, the guy you saw fly away also swears as a member of Clan Tremere. The uh, the black guy though, he seems a little bit kind of nervous and sort of looks over towards uh, Stephen and David. You're the only one who sees this, or um, Jean. Uh, you see mm -hmm. like kind of like doubt and hesitation play across his aura, and he says, uh, "Yeah, you'll be safe if you surrender." Um, and you feel fairly confident that he is not being truthful with you. Wow. Oh. Hmm. Okay. We all know who the betrayer in the group is. I thought I only made one monster. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, how do we interpret that? Um, I'm still waiting for the rest of them to swear on their clan. Everyone else seemed to be telling the truth, but that guy, he looked over towards the old man, and he, you feel like, was definitely lying. So, you thought the others were telling the truth, although you don't obviously know for sure. So it sounds to me like he has given away the collective lie they're all making. It's possible. Unless he's, you know, some sort of infernalist planning on betraying everyone. Mm -hmm. Sense the sin. <laughs> <laughs> you Please do, do it. At this point, yeah. No. Do it. It would solve so use, many problems. Now, I'm, not I'm not using not. Daemonian. Mm -hmm. You coward. That's also possible. Although, they wouldn't, well, I don't know why you think they would tell you, but... That's more of an argument for let's capture and interrogate them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I could get Before one, I would dominate them. Yeah, Actually, is Abigail still with us here? Now we now know there's two Tremere. You do definitely Abigail know that there are two Tremere, a Malkavian, and the other guy just said, yeah. Remind me again, uh, is Abigail still with us or was she kidnapped? She is still with you. Okay. So, okay, I need to do anything that then. they do to her could be a problem. Mm-hmm. Could be a solution. <laughs> it's a solution. Don't. It's a solution for a lot of people, but not for him. I'm, right, still, well, waiting, I'm still waiting for those to swear on their clan. I'm not doing it until they do so. Sworn. All of them? Sworn. On, yes. on their own specific clans? No, the guy who looked, no, the guy who looked at Stephen did not swear on his clan. But you thought he was lying if you re-insist on it, you can. I'm just saying that's what he uh, said. Well, well, my vote has changed to fleeing. <laughs> All right. So, 
Uh, for now, I'm going to spend a blue point on Celerity. All right. Okay. So I'll try and run away, but I, I guarantee you I'm going to be caught. <laughs> Someone's not confident in their running well, I ability. I've got, like, two. I've got, like, a two. You could spend blood points. You guys I are... I would spend, you know, I don't have a lot of blood to spend, though, is my problem. All right. See, my issue is I can't flee with Abigail. Because yeah. I have to carry her as well. I don't know how fast That's she will be. Abigail. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Abigail's going to be, and so, you know, it's... You guys are both going to have to do a Scooby-Doo where yeah, <laughs> Hassan and Joseph are going to have to take people in their arms. We can try, but I'm just, I have a feeling it's going to go badly. Oh. We, can, we can throw down and fight right here. That's fine too, but we got two Tremere and probably some fireballs coming at us. Whoa. <laughs> um, also got me to the mess, great. You know, I thought, I thought about running. And then I remember, like... You have five strength and, like, nine potents? Well, yes. Let me just ask them right here. Um, <clears throat> what would you do if we were to refuse? Well, in that case, things would become a lot less friendly. Naturally. However, this is a public space. We could, uh, we would obviously prefer to avoid an engagement here. However, I'm sure you are aware that as Tremere, we have many ways to handle such a scenario. <laughs> hmm. All right, look. Uh, out of character, right? Mm-hmm. So we we are at, we are at an advantage that they have to protect the masquerade. So we we could use that. There are right now. Uh, it is nighttime, but there are actually several nurses around. Um, mm -hmm. All in all, in the immediate area, there's maybe half a dozen people that would see you throw down. Once chaos starts erupting, obviously a lot more people are going to start to show up. So you're you could be looking at multiple dozens of witnesses. I think run. I think running away would work surprisingly well. Okay. Should probably also mention that I do have the flow of vengeful against Tremere. That's true as well. Yeah, so I'm well. not going to be here surrendering to them, to say the least. All right. So two votes to run away. So I, I'm yeah. So I'm prepping celerity. So, uh, yeah, running away is probably the move right now. Okay. All right, cool. So now we decide the mechanics of running away. So right. is Joseph going to grab uh, Lysia and uh, Hassan is going to grab Abigail? That's my plan. Dorothy, are you okay with that? Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just pray that they don't hawk us down. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the guy who's carrying I, you I, to I safety. Feel like, I, I feel like you know this is. Uh... Well, I just came to and remember that uh, certain certain people are fast as hell. <laughs> yeah, how um, how far up are we? We're totally. Oh, what was that? Are we like high up in the hospital? Are we um, ground floor? You are a hospital? couple of floors up. You are uh, on the third floor currently. Right, remind me. Would that be um taking lethal damage upon landing, or would that just be like a scratch? Um, you would take uh, some bashing damage when you land. Um, really, you could take damage. Although at this level, it's entirely conceivable that as vampires, you could take no damage from a fall. Okay. It depends on how well the stamina roll goes and things like that, but... Right, right. Going out the window? It would not be crazy for you to go out the window and get nothing. That's my plan, then. It's the fastest that's way out. <laughs> well, uh, in that case, uh, that seems like a, a better plan. Yeah, sounds good. So you guys are going to make a break for the window? <laughs> well... All right. <laughs> Is there anything Ooh, you guys yeah. say well, before? You should probably split it rather than all try and get out the one. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> splitting a separate there windows. Just, just, so, there's going to be a bottleneck. So you, so you guys, probably... there are multiple windows window. that you can see from your position. Guys, you guys. guys, guys, I just thought of something. Okay. Okay, oh, yeah. this, this will be good. 
Uh, well, they met us at the hospital, right? Mm-hmm. So there's a high chance they know that uh, that Madison's related to us. Yep. So, uh... Oh, I was hoping so you, you wouldn't notice. Yes, yeah, same. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It's okay. It's already been suggested by some of the other players that they were the ones who put Madison in the hospital yeah, in the I first did place. Ask that specifically, and they said yes, she's part of the <laughs> attack. So yeah. Oh, when oh, that's what you like, said. Yeah, oh, yeah. oh. So you will be leaving Madison here to their mercy. Well, although it seems like maybe right. Madison was a little bit of bait to pull you in. Yeah. <laughs> it's it seems like Stallworth is changing his vote. <laughs> No, he's thinking this could solve a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's certainly what I'm thinking. They could s kill the woman I'm terrified of. Yeah, it would kill the woman I'm terrified of as well. This is great. <laughs> nah, nah, see, I, I can't let that slide. Yeah, you can. Nah, I can't. <laughs> Please tell me you can. <laughs> So apparently nah, I'm sorry, I can't. Jump right in, then okay, but see, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Star Wolf. The rest of us can. <laughs> okay, so wait, alright, so come on, guys, alright, let's think about it then, so. In character, we know, if we were to try to run away, Joseph would probably stay and fight because he likes Madison or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, as characters, if we know that Joseph will stay behind, then we probably don't want to leave him behind. Or you won't leave him behind no matter how much you may want to. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah because, we're right. because we're vinculums to him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he, is an, he is an asset to the party, I guess. So if, if you surrender, Joseph, the rest of us have to surrender as well. <clears throat> Basically. Oh, I didn't say a word about surrender. Yeah, I'm about to say, <laughs> if you surrender, how would that be any... How would that put Madison in any less danger than if you ran away? So... So yeah, well, so yeah, it seems that we've limited, we've gone from three or surrender. Because in theory, cooperating means they might be lenient and not kill my So, let's start, so we got a revote, guys. Alright. So, who wants to vote first, not me? <laughs> Well, Stalworth already <laughs> said that he was not planning on, uh, surrendering. So you want to fight Stalworth? Well, I mean, if they, if they would go to an extreme of beating their half to death, I don't, I don't see what's keeping them from beating her fully to death when <laughs> her usefulness is, uh... Sure. You make an excellent point, I and I will surrender. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fucking pause there. It's good. It's the good shit. Mary? Um, she went off to do, uh, food stuff. She went to get dinner. What do they want? Hypocrisy <laughs> of the left. Yeah, you, they you, are, can, you can't complain about They're doing the whole revoting thing. I wouldn't worry about it for now. Okay. What you mean you wouldn't worry? We're, we're into the runoffs, but there are going to be a couple more, I think, before they actually decide anything. Okay. Yeah, my, my, my vote goes to surrender now. Alright. If you run away, it's... Yeah. Oh, so y'all just y'all just going to plan on surrender? Yeah. yeah. Cooperate. Cooperate with them. Mind you, if they are lying and they do anything to Abigail, you will go instantly insane. Well, so the men that I be with her and that I protect her. So is it, All right, but... con is it possible for us to conceal, to, to keep weapons up? You're gonna try and hold out weapons? You can try and do that yeah. if you want so to. so is my pistol concealed? Um, it's in, like, the- it's holstered under your jacket. It can't be seen. I will give away my shotgun. Well, you didn't bring the shotgun into the hospital, I hope. Well, with it being unconcealable. Well, I thought we had the duffel bag. Oh, that's true. You do have your own duffel bag. Yeah, it is in there. So, you're not giving it up anyway. Hansan has it. In that case, yeah, I'll toss the duffel bag over to them. Which also has my sword in it. Oh, oh can we just discuss this? <laughs> Discussion is over. Right. I've taken the first action. You guys, the vote, the vote they're gonna stake us! You put down the, the duffel bag. Shut up. 
you put down the duffel bag, and uh, Stephen looks at you guys, and he says, "All your weapons." Oh uh, yeah, we're not done yet. <laughs> Joseph, they're gonna stay. I don't got any weapons. I beat people to death. Oh my god. I take out my sword and I cut off his arms. <laughs> you don't have your sword. You gave it up already. So I have my knife. My knife. All right. It's going to take a bit longer, but I'll still cut them off. This is a dude. Like, I just. They're going to take us in. They're going to stake us. And then we ain't gonna have no choice but to do whatever, whatever they say. They probably gonna try to send us out on some mission or something. They are gonna be like, we gonna kill Madison, we gonna kill Haru if you don't do the mission. You and then assume we ain't gonna be able to talk to Yamamoto. A... Yamamoto don't know where we are. You do understand also that sometimes you'll be treated as a prisoner of war. Sometimes prisoners of war get executed for war crimes after they've surrendered. This is true. They might not. They might, might know my reputation. <laughs> oh my god! Bro, well, we're gonna be prisoners. So basically, don't, Joseph, don't... you don't have any weapons, so it doesn't really change for you. He moves the duffel bag over towards John, uh, and asks you, you know, to put your weapons in there. Sake. All right, I'll put the Glock in there. All right. All right. Uh, so y- y'all, y'all all in on surrender, okay? This is dumb. Yeah, all right. We are, I already regret the decision. Do you, are you sure Same. you want to do it? Well, we've already lost Hassan's sword and his shotgun, so... Well, it's on the... Basically, on the floor in front of you is in a duffel bag right now. All right, so so it's, it's... Recount of the vote. Final vote. <laughs> <laughs> See, Mary, I told you there would be another vote. There was no need to worry. Make a final vote, alright? No more fucking taxis after this, okay? Well, the, no, surrender won a plurality in the last election, but it has not won an outright majority yet. We might be moving back the other way now. Final round of voting. Look, oh, damn it, this is really... So, so Lysia abstains. Alright. So, is Lysia abstaining? Am I getting uh, that Pretty one? much, yeah. Well, in that case, you have the reciting vote, because I'm still voting Surrender. And yeah, Joseph's voting Surrender. Voting. Yeah, Joseph. Joseph. Do we remember what happened to John when he surrendered. It's true. It's it was true. a whole it's shit true. show. He could have just, he could have just fought Ram. Hassan, have... or, uh, jo- Jean was absolutely fine the last time he surrendered. Jean used his sword and cut the guy's. Ah, oh, damn it. Hmm. Uh... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Do you have the deciding vote, David, or Sean? Rather? Oh my God! <laughs> it's all up to you. The gun Where's is hovering coin? over their duffel bag right now. I still have a point of solidarity spent just in case I want to attack. Alright. I said that a long time ago, just so we're still clear. It's still there. It's still there. Alright, I'm getting a coin to flip. Alright. Make your choice, don't rely on luck. Lazy luck always guides me, okay? Would it uh, help you make your decision if I said that one of those ends in you dying? Oh. <laughs> no. Damn. So, so we really can't fight, huh? Oh. Well, I it, is that what that means? Uh, it means that maybe point. after you hand over all your weapons, you guys are fucked. <laughs> there are two things that could mean. Fight. Well, you know this fight. fight. Okay. I vote for fight. So attack them, and I'll follow up. All right, fine. Take out my gun. Shoot them. <laughs> While it's out, you shoot. Uh... All right, <laughs> we're going into initiative. So, Mary, I am gonna need you back. Oh my god! John, open <laughs> fire. Wait, wait, wait! I want confirmation that Mary's really okay with fighting. She she said okay. Fine. Fuck it. This took like half an hour. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna. Time. I'll go through everyone else's first. Give you time to get over here. All right. Let me find a piece of paper to write this on. 
I hate the decisions in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this. I feel like this Montreal story has got a lot more decisions. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let me start with their scores. Right. It's a shame you guys didn't surrender. <laughs> Good fucker. Why is it a shame, Zach? <laughs> He's just fucking with us. Yeah. Or they could have hard. Well, well too well, late for that now. Don't beat worry. Them. Uh, if they beat you, you'll see the scene that happens if you had surrendered. <laughs> So. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Just so we clear, the back is like open on the floor in front of us right now, right? Um, it's not open, it's zipped up. But it is on the floor in front of you. I'm taking action to get my sword out, it's too much. Knife it is. Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, wits plus dexterity for Hassan. That would be eight specialty and surprise attacks. All which right. I would assume this counts as. Um, well, you're pretty surprised that uh, Jean just opened fire. You were ready to surrender. <laughs> it's a surprise attack. I count. It counts. <laughs> um, and uh, Jean? Six. All right. Can you put the cat upstairs in the room while I'm uh, writing down everyone's initiatives? Alright. If you're confident. Uh, and Joseph? Uh, Wits plus dexterity? Wits plus dexterity. That is eight. Wow. Do you have a specialty? Uh, it's cat like reflexes, so I don't know what that uh. counts. <laughs> and uh Lysia. Seven. Well Leon, you mean. Leon, of course. I've never been so glad we have Joseph. Um well, thank you. Alright, so uh Jean, you get uh basically a sneak attack round. Are you going full auto with this shot or Yeah. <sighs> Look at how little ammo you have left. Maybe don't go full auto. I have one magazine. Yeah. That's all enough right, to fuck up one person. I mean, yeah. He, well, he's going to plan on shooting all the bullets at these guys anyway, so <laughs> just do it all very yeah. quickly before they kill you. Okay. Which one of them are you shooting at? Mm. Old man, old man, old man. <laughs> either, either, either Steven or Ryan, right? Mm -hmm. Like those are those are the you main. You do ones. have a history of killing Ryan, though. <laughs> well, maybe I should protect my title. <laughs> you, have type, you have type advantage. <laughs> um, all right, well, guys, which do you think is a bigger threat? Do you think Steven's a bigger threat? He has fireballs, doesn't he? Not the last Not time the last... you saw him, but of course you've never seen him in character. I was say, you have no idea what either one of them are. Steven's the one that's been talking, so. Yeah, you're right. I should make the decision in character. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so in character, I know this guy's a Tremere, and... He, cl he oh, claimed to be, didn't he? Mm-hmm, you know there are two yeah. Tremeres, both. And a Malkavian. And a Malkavian, And so. in fairness, in character, I thought... Uh, in character, I think that him having a Deagle is dumb, so... Yep. Alright, I'll go for the Tremere. Alright. Steven. So, if he kills him, you know who to blame. I will. <laughs> I'm angry at you, David. Uh, dexterity plus firearms. <clears throat> Is there a cool guy phrase you want to use as you just open fire on this guy? Five with a will PowerPoint. Is that the cool guy phrase? 
<laughs> if you were to consider my skill in firearms as a collection of dots, are you shooting him in the head? Hmm. Yes. All right. All right. And what is the damage on your gun? It is do, 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 do. seven. All right. All right. Um, so you just... <laughs> so you're, like, about to put the gun away, then you think better of it, and then you just, like, raise it up and gangster-style, just full-auto the rest of your clip into this old man's head in the middle of this hospital. Uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah, from an outside perspective, this must seem quite odd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, classic move, obviously. Um, so, he screams out, um, and he's like, Ryan! As he's, like, grabbing his face and, like, making hand motions for the others. So, in the initiative, uh, Ryan is fastest. So, uh, he's going to move to protect Steven. All right. Um, so he is going to take aim. For some reason my chat isn't up. Anyway, there was someone in the chat I was gonna say something to, but I can't. <laughs> Thanks, Twitch. Rip. Nice. <laughs> Should I leave a message or? Yeah, you can. I'll go to the Twitch channel then. All right. So uh, he fires and uh, he strikes you directly with the deagle. All I, all I see is why not. I don't know what I'm supposed to be responding to. <laughs> nah, I was just pointing I'm out sure that uh, David's saying... crazy. Yeah. Alright. So what is uh, your stamina? <clears throat> well, it's tree. Uh, all right. Apparently, I have some sort of armor because my lethal soak is three plus one. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, he's shooting you in the head, so the armor doesn't matter. Nice. All right. Uh, you take uh four points of damage. Wow, that's a lot. Oh. Um, and John, it is your turn. <laughs> my turn yeah, yeah. Your turn. yeah you had a surprise round that was why you acted uh before anyone else ow. all right sorry ow <laughs> <laughs> is that your turn <laughs> well um let's see did firing full auto use the entire magazine yes oh oh <laughs> That's great. The shotgun is still in that bag. Alright, well, go for the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're able to unzip it. Um, Hassan, you do see that your sword is there as well. It's been unzipped and ready for you, so you can grab it on your turn uh, easily if you want to and attack with it. I will gladly do so. Uh, you, Jean, retrieve your weapon, but uh, you can't act until... Are you using your celerity this turn? I am. Alright, so yeah, you can act once we get to the celerity turns. Cool. Alright. And it is... 
Uh, oh yeah, it's Derek's turn now. So you see that the, uh, the African-American gentleman uh, pops protein claws out of his hands. Oh no. Yeah, he about to fuck somebody up. Yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm really glad David's in front. And it is now, that's all he does this turn, so it is now Joseph's turn. Ooh. Yeah, Joseph's a bit him. <laughs> so I don't have to. <laughs> it's not your turn yet. I kind of grab Abigail and <laughs> We're just going to let the, uh, we're going to let the boys, uh, the, the woman, handle this. Uh... What's the max I can boost my strength up to? Uh, you can spend turn. one blood point this turn. Okay, well, I'm going to boost it up to six. All right. And, uh, uh, shit. I guess I'm going to go you try to handle take, You could also take Hassan's sword if you wanted to. It is open there. No. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yo, man, I'm so he rips his enemies apart with his haunts. But I was gonna say, it'd be a melee roll instead of a brawl, then. Yes. yes. Although, as I recall from his sheet, he has a shit ton of, like, every type of combat. Yes, I do. I actually have a higher melee than I do brawl. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take it, then. Fuck it. Go ahead. I'll, I'll lend it to you. Hey, you judge. Good, good looking out, because he got protein claws, and I'm scared. <laughs> so hilarious <laughs> coming from you. <laughs> it's just so innocent. So, uh, yeah, I'm boosting my strength up to six, and, uh, I'm attacking him with a, with a sawn sword. Alright, go for it. So, give me a dexterity plus melee. Uh, that'll be eight. <laughs> it's, it's so funny, but it's also one of the most true statements in Vampire the Masquerade. He's got protein yeah. claws, and I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> It's the official shit good real fighting move. It's protein claws. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's like the it's like the only reason to ever bother with protein. You do hit. What is uh? So your sword has a damage of three, I think, right? My sword is two, unfortunately. Right. So it's two. But feel free to count this free. So it's two plus your um. I was treating it like a machete, which is plus three. The machete is plus three. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure machete is plus two. Okay. Like a broadsword is plus three. You know what? Miles says it's two, so I'm going to yeah. trust him. Uh -huh. No, no, if you say <laughs> machete is two, clearly. It's your sword. You are always arguing for, like, the bad outcome. That's just, it's so Miles is just a pessimist. No, no. <laughs> Dick, I will trust you. I will update my character sheet to plus three. <laughs> right. I'll trust you. I'll take your word for it. It is Damascus it. Steel. I'll give you plus three. So what is your strength plus okay. three plus your potence? Uh, that is... 11. Alright, and that's how, how much many? Potence? Yeah, give me the potent separately. Oh, the, oh, okay. Uh, the strength plus 3 is 9, the potence is 2. Alright. Will PowerPoint, will PowerPoint! Yeah, yeah, will PowerPoint. Alright. <laughs> and this is on Derek? Yeah, get yes. rid of protein course immediately, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, cut his arms off. Watch you come out unscathed. Oh, you better get good rolls, you motherfucker. Alright. Oh, this was dumb, this was dumb. Alright, so, uh, you... <laughs> so, uh... You basically pick this thing up and baseball swing this sword. And he, like, tries to, like, matrix dodge backwards, but you cut him, like, directly across the chest, and you feel the sword like, cut through bone uh, of his ribs. Fuck yeah! <laughs> nice. So, he falls backwards, basically screaming, clutching at his chest. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, he's prone, it's gotta take a turn. Uh, good, good. Stumbles backwards, he does not go prone. Fuck that. And uh, Hassan, it is your turn. Okay, let's make him go prone then. I'll rather kill him in Adler if we can. <laughs> <laughs> so... Wow, so everyone well, jumps Ryan. on Derek. I know, wow. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah we do. Like, it's oh, like... Ryan's shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody likes it. We all, we're all blood-bound to Josephine. Um, 
Plus, true. this is a this is a way to get out frustration on Stallworth. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Stallworth has some self worth issues. What our friends in chat may not be aware of is uh, these characters that they are currently fighting are Camarilla characters that they made uh, previously. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're fighting their own player characters from a different chronicle. Yeah. It's a good thing. My previous character fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> He's already dead. Yeah. He died. Yeah. It's the uh, these characters are from the previous season, which you can see on YouTube now. <laughs> nice plug. Plug. All right. Mm -hmm. All Make right. sure to like and subscribe. So, yeah. uh, give me so a yeah, I go and jam melee. my knife into him. Dex plus melee. That would be eight. All right. Willpower. Willpower. Will not on the not on this roll. On the damage roll. Okay. Sure. Boom. Oh. I don't have that much, that many points. <laughs> no, I'm not that strong-willed. Uh, yes, you hit. Okay. What is your uh, strength plus one? Uh, that would be four in this case. All right. And hang on. Uh, that should be four. That should be yeah. Uh, that will be four plus three automatic. Three? Yeah. Loop up point. Two potents. Oh, okay. I'm like, you have been jamming points into, uh... Well, I have. <laughs> now we have the peanut Plus... gallery offering the advice that you guys should diablerize your previous characters. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least Derek. That's a great idea. Considering it. Alright. Um... So it's 12 plus the automatic. Okay. You, uh, absolutely... <laughs> Poor Derek. You absolutely put him into Torpor. <laughs> you <laughs> just keep, like, maniac stabbing him, and he goes just completely limp. Nice teamwork, Stalworth. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm proud of us. Right. We do, like, a crust card on his chest. It is Steven's turn. Um... Oh, gosh. He immediately, uh... Well, seeing what happened to Derek, and in general, basically, it's chaos. Like, every all the mortals around you see you. So, he's like, we need... He basically reaches out a hand, uh, and you can see uh, the figure of Derek starts to, like, right himself, but he seems to be moving almost like a puppet, like he's being held up by something. And uh, the old man starts to move in the opposite direction of you guys, um, and he's basically brought the figure close enough to him that he's trying to make it look like he's assisting him out, although you guys can tell mm -hmm. that he seems to be mm -hmm. levitating him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, should we let them escape now, over? And it is Leon's turn. Um, so what is the other Tremere doing? Um, it is not quite his turn yet, but he seems to be, you know, so we're getting ready to do some part... kind of magic. Oh, okay, there is. So he is preparing to... And, and Ryan is still there prepared to um, you're not sure, like, his turn hasn't come up yet. Two of them are definitely retreating. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk in there and try and lay hands on people. Um, <laughs> you're a paladin now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Abigail, and we're gonna hunker down. All right. So, you take cover, and it is uh, the last man's turn. So, he uh, holds out uh, basically a hand, and you can see that out of, from the next room, like a huge uh, piece of equipment just comes like flying through a nearby door and basically blocks the way between the two groups. Um, and he starts booking it, off. booking it the other way. I was hoping they were going to... And uh, he starts uh, yelling out something about calling in some sort of a team. Calling so call in a what? Down, we did try to go sorry, to sorry, you, you logged out there. Calling in some sort of... Uh, calling in a, a reinforcements. A team. Oh, oh, shit. Okay. So I say we get out of here now. Hey, yeah, can I go yeah. confiscate Madison's body, though? Um, well, if you take her off the machine, she will die. 
Yeah, yeah I'm not going to do that. Well, fuck. Okay, well. For now, those guys probably won't want to show their faces around this hospital again. Yeah, nice. We should, have, we should have Liam, please change all of our appearances. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, it is Ryan. Well, no, it, it's Celerity turns in the initiative, so it is uh, Jean's turn next. All right, so there's a barrier between our groups now. Yes, although you can shoot over it. Yeah. Actually, hold on. How did um, the barrier get between me, Joseph, yeah, and uh, Derek? The other Tremere. Well, because Derek's been pulled away. Now yeah, Derek got pulled away. Pull okay. Uh-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'll just start, I'll just start, uh, fucking running away. <laughs> if they're running away, I'm running away. Alright. So, you're gonna book it towards the window? Yeah, I'm guessing the window's the other way, conveniently. Yep. Alright, cool, yeah, go for it. Alright. And it is Hassan's turn, then. I'll do the same, but I'll like, get in the corner and obfuscate beforehand. All right. If so, possible. it is Ryan's turn. Um, actually, Ryan, because he is first in the initiative, he would have gone before you, but your turns can still happen. Uh, he is mostly retreating, although he does take the opportunity to shoot once at you, Jean, uh, before he leaves. Wow. Aiming for Boy, your I head. Can't. Well, um, am I moving with superhuman speed because I have celerity, or...? Um, not... It doesn't matter. He does miss you. Cool. Um, basically, you see he turns and fires, although the gun jams up, which does uh, basically corroborate what you were thinking before, that it is not an effective weapon. Nice. Obviously, he was the weakest of the group. Obviously. Yeah, whatever. Which is why he's the one lagging behind as they tactically Whatever. retreat in the other direction. Whatever. So we're tactically retreating our way. <laughs> You're both tactically star. retreating okay. away from one another. Retreating. So for the sake of people that don't know the last season, that's my character he's shitting on right now. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... For the record, we aren't tactically retreating. We are... Well, we won, technically. We fucking won. <laughs> yeah, yes, we won. We Let's won. get the fuck out of here. Fucking run away. You guys <laughs> bust out. She hasn't been, you know, um, socialized in the patriarchy to understand that you rewrite your history so that you win these encounters. She's just... <laughs> so are you guys going to bust out the window? There is also, like, stairs that you could take down. I'm going down. If you want Can to we go down so. one flight of stairs and then jump down from the next floor? I mean, you, you could do, do that. Whatever you want to do. I'm just thinking uh, how obvious you want to be trying to escape from this building. Basically, security is being called. The hospital is in chaos right now. But I'm obfuscated, so... That's true. You could do whatever you wanted. So yeah, you can yeah. abandon Abigail if you want. No I'm problem. not doing that. All right. No well, problem. Abigail's going down the stairs. Yeah, so... All right, well, in that case, I'm following her while obfuscated. Fine. Alright. Um, <laughs> you're gonna pull, you're gonna go through one of those emergency exits. Yeah, do not exit, I, the alarm will sound. Closest, whatever exit All right. is closest, if that's closest, I'll do that. Alright. So you guys bust out through the emergency fire exit, send off the alarm in the building, uh, and start making your way down towards your vehicle. Um... Do we want to go to the vehicle? Do they? Uh, I'm going to assume we better go for the vehicle. But okay. All right. Watching. Remember who's Stay remember on. who's in the vehicle. <laughs> Mary. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah, that's true. Your prisoner is in oh, the vehicle. Oh, that's right. We've got a prisoner in the yep. vehicle. Yeah. We should so we have to go for the vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So let's get to the vehicle and just hope to God they're not there. You guys, you guys get to the van, and there is no one else there but you. However, as you are approaching, you can see that a lock has been put on the wheels. Like the, uh... Like the... Joseph, rip it open. Hell yeah, Joseph, yeah. rip it open. Alright. Uh, your strength is still at six. Yep. And two potents. <laughs> Our chat has correctly pointed out that, uh, this is a very Sabbat-only situation right now. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> 
Well, the Camarilla uh, had the only, forced that's it. That's the only reason we won. That's the only reason we won, because obviously the Camarilla would be the types to avoid this. Yeah, you actually... If the fight had gone on any longer, you would have seen Steven ream out uh, Derek for just pulling protein claws in the middle of a fucking building. <laughs> so, um... Is, you like that? <laughs> what are they expecting? Uh, you kind of liked out there, David. What do you say? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Are we, have we made it far enough that you can tell us whether or not we made the right choice? Oh, yeah. If you guys had surrendered, you guys would have died. Wow. All right. See? All right. Cool. See? I know, but it just, it, just, it just feels like this was the wrong thing to do. Because guys, I'm always looking for some, yeah, some way where everything goes perfectly, you know? <laughs> That's you true. not say we're not still going to die. You guys did not notice the very specific thing that Steven uh, put in there where he said, as long as you are in my custody, you will be treated as pretty much of one. I did notice that. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I kind of caught on that. I was kind of thinking we'd go with them until we got into a better situation rather than fight right there in the hallway. No, but... because going with them required us to be in a worse off situation yeah, well, right basically away. Basically, what he was going to have you do was you were going to get rid of your weapons. He was going to take you into a secluded area where it wouldn't be a masquerade violation. And then and then stake you. Yeah, see, I had a feeling the stake was gonna come. Yeah, see, see, there's all there's all levels of mind games going on here. Josephine, you gotta stake that one time. Said never again. What do you mean one time? Yeah, it's been staked. The last time you've been staked several times. All right. Yes, indeed. So, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, you pull that thing right off. Alright, cool. So let's go. Get in, let's go. Alright. I don't know where we're going. Wait, can someone... Would, would someone check the boost to see if the prisoner is actually still there? Yeah, you check the van okay, under the tarp. He is still there. Okay, let's go. Alright, cool, let's, let's go. go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Alright, you pull out. <laughs> Leave the camera to clean up this mess. Is there yeah, anyone following us? Um, there is, uh, not. Cool. We made it. Where are we going? <laughs> oh, to wait, know. I'm here. To know. Well, I, I at this point... I totally forgotten about his wife. <laughs> I, that, that I have not forgotten like about my Madison's wife. ...in the hospital. Where the hell are we going and what are we going to do? Apparently there's an attack upon the city of Quebec by the Camarilla. That's true, actually. Thank you for, remind, uh, for reminding me. So, um, I am on my phone to Yamamoto, is what yeah. I'm doing. So, you cannot uh, get in touch with Yamamoto. What? He the is fuck? not responding to you. The twins? Uh, no. Uh, do, we have, do we have phone numbers for the twins? Yeah, they are not responding either. Do we have phone oh, numbers for the servants? Um, yeah, all of those numbers, none of them are responding. Do we have a phone number for Milady? Yes, you do. I call her. She is not responding either. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, what did they like? Did like a? I'm gonna call Jean. Is my phone working? Yes, it is. Okay. Also, okay. on your phone, as you're looking at it, you can see that uh, news feed is uh, active. Apparently, uh, they're reporting massive rioting uh, in Montreal. Crap. According to the uh, the media, um, they're showing like just some shaky like close up footage. So this is the camera. Okay, where are the riots happening? Um, in Montreal. It doesn't say specifically where, although it does say that it has something to do with uh, French francophone separatists. So it's the uh, from the footage. Can we can we see what streets it is or whatever? Um, no, the the footage is really close up. In fact, it's hard to see much of anything from it. Okay. It's the Camarilla attack. So they're attacking Montreal. So Yamamoto has his hands full with other things. All right. But yeah, right. apparently the like the federal police and authorities are being is called into Montreal. In Quebec? No. So this was just bait to get us to come to Quebec out of Montreal. Possibly. Seems like it. All right, so... Well, they got us. <laughs> it right. works. All right, I will attempt. Can I attempt to ring Haru again? Do you need to heal, Jean? Um, I do. <laughs> Haru does not respond. You guys are free to heal as much as you want with your blood. Well, that's that's a problem, actually. The blood thing. <laughs> I yeah, thought we so. Are, we, we, do, we probably should go feed or something. Find some well, blood, find something, find, find some. I don't know where to go. You guys are in Quebec. The There's house? nothing keeping you from just uh, killing some people if you want to. 
Well, we yeah. don't need a better plan. We don't know where those guys are. We don't know anything. We don't know where Haru is. Mm -hmm. We don't know anything. We don't know anything. We ain't got no haven either. It is either. not far until dawn either, because you guys drove all the way from Montreal to Quebec last this night. Just park me by a lake. I'll go into the water. Okay, so for now... That doesn't solve any problem. I don't care. I'm going to where like that's where I'm headed. <laughs> so for now, guys, mm -hmm. let's just take a deep breath. Uh, have Leon change all our faces. Okay. Uh, go. We need. All right. So where can we hole up? Will we just like get a hotel or what for the thing? I am going to find a body of water and I am going to melt into it. That is where I'm going. Okay, that's very selfish. Go, you guys can go wherever you want to go. <laughs> that, is, that is rather inconsiderate. Mm -hmm. Look, boys, we just need to find an underground parking garage and chill out there. That's true. Yeah, that's a good suggestion as well. We can just stay in the van. Okay. Maybe we can do that. Okay, so... Uh, let's find one of that on one of those on Google Maps or whatever while we're driving around. You gotta look for an underground parking garage and pay for like a day pass. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just. I'll make sure that nobody is watching us. Then I'll try to anyway. Okay. Okay. Oh, very good. Now, next step is to organize where we're gonna get blood before then. I um, mean, yeah, I could How low are you guys? People. I'm low. I have five, so I I need to have some. No, you don't at five. If you're at like I'm, two or three, uh, you, you guys need are about to. to go into a you're war about zone. To go into a war zone? Do you? Do you, do you, so <laughs> Miles, you don't think blood will be spent on anything? So, first off, Miles, First off, I think five does warrant a feeding, and second <laughs> off, it definitely does, considering the spread of circumstances. Yes. I'm, I'm just considering yeah, that. But I'm going to have to go through with the uh, uh, maybe tomorrow morning or tomorrow yeah. evening, rather. Nah. Unless the camera yeah. finds yeah. you during the day. Yeah. They might have a description of the van. Mm. Yeah, you're right. It would probably be dumb to sleep the day in the van. I'm finding a body of water. I'm telling you. Abigail, kinda, Fine, if she sees you going off, she'll kind of grab a hold of your arm and says, I think it would be safer if we all stayed together. You can find a place near the body of water. Damn, that's cold. I mean... Cold. I would feel safer if you were around. Yeah, I, Abigail, did you see me in that fight? I grabbed you, we ran. You saved me. That's why I need you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We, we, we just gonna ignore the rest of our contributions? Yep. Apparently, apparently she's gonna try and guilt me into staying. I know I can trust you. So, all right, where are we at in Quebec, right? Are we, is there like, uh, are there sewers? Um, it's gonna be Nosferatu. Damn, are they? Pro is this a Quebec? Is this a Quebec? Is a Camarillo city. city. Damn it, damn it, you guys damn could. It. You do have a couple of hours. You're not gonna be able to get back to Montreal tonight, but you could get out of the city tonight. So we'll sleep amongst the werewolves. Be damn, really would like a body of water. <laughs> mm. Well, we could um, we could find uh, find someone. That's, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just right, I'm just throwing right. it out there, but we can find someone I could dominate the shit out of, and we can just go to their house and make sure no one's gonna actually come yeah, there and it. make a sudden move. Yeah, fuck let's it. do that. We'll have a free source of blood as well. Yeah, yeah I give up at this stage. You gonna break into someone's house? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> all right. It's all right. This is the dark part of your divine tide. <laughs> It really, really is. is. It really is. <laughs> it sounds like I oh my god. I, understand I will seek redemption for this you know the demon later. To you. John, oh, John is fucking broken. <laughs> <laughs> you broke John. <laughs> Fuck this. Alright. So you guys head kind of towards the outskirts of the city? I guess. Yeah. Find I a place. It all, started, it all started when I thought I was being a goody two-shoes by letting myself get captured. Uh, as you find a place, hopefully with a water feature in the backyard. Hopefully with a water feature. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you guys can bust in. Nice. So, uh, how are you guys going to go about this home invasion? Yeah, that's I say, uh, Joseph, Joseph just fucking, uh, like, knock on the door like normal, dominate the answers. 
That could work, yeah. Does that sound good to you? Sure. It's Joseph specifically, I need to agree to it, since he's the one doing it. Probably went off to get dinner. Hmm. So, well, chat, what do you the think of the plan? I've returned. All right. Okay, so, these guys. The door and dominate some people to let us in. Uh, wait, so we found a place? Yep. All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's so, just dominate. So, yeah. All right. So you uh, knock on the door. And uh, after a little bit of maybe some more persistent knocking, eventually the door opens and a man in pajamas answers. And he seems very annoyed. He's like, what the hell? It is four o'clock in the morning, my dude. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I look, I say... Uh, I'm so sorry. I look dead in his eyes and I dominate. Alright, manipulation plus leadership. Why did you even bother saying you're sorry? He's a nice For effect. Uh, he's, he's our social character. He's the social it's, called, character. it's called role playing. Okay, sometimes your your natural human instincts get the better of you and you just give the automatic answer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but that would be uh, seven. Alright. All right, so you start trying to dominate this guy, and then he kind of starts to fall under your sway, but then he kind of, like, backs up. He sees, like, the people behind you, and you can see that his eyes are basically going wide with fear. He's still under, in the process of shaking off your dominate, but it seems like you have not managed to grab him as fully as you would like. Ain't this bad a bitch. So can you try again, or how does this work? Um, it uh, seems like he is about to run away. Uh, man, should I kill him? I can just put him in No, 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 you can, all you have to do, since you're so strong, all you should do is grab his face and force him to keep eye contact with you, and then just keep attempting to dominate. That'll work? Yep. Give all right. Dexterity plus brawl. Uh, dexterity plus brawl is, uh, seven. This is really more your wheelhouse, anyway. Your hand darts out like a viper, and you just get, like, this vice-like grip around his neck. Um, I guess you can keep trying to dominate him to let you in, but at this point, you're this in. <laughs> you have stepped inside <laughs> to grab him. Well, he, see, he does need to complete the domination to do stuff like, uh, make him not question this, not call the police, and forget it after. Yeah, I thought the plan was to drain well, him anyway. Yeah. I was gonna say, I thought you guys were just gonna drain him of blood anyway. Well, well, we might not have to drain him. Well, well, you know. him. <laughs> well he might have other people in the house. In terms of your guys' morality, uh, for the Cathari's here, I would consider this to be a valid reason for killing people. Uh, given the circumstances you're under. Well, yeah, we're kinda, you know, oh, we're, we're, well, in that case, yes, we're draining him. No, well, wait, 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 let's wait, let's wait before we figure out, so I will go around, is there a wife for their kids? You're gonna start searching the house? Yeah. Alright, um, as you're kind of, well, give me a perception plus investigation. Wouldn't it be better if I did that while obfuscated? Can I just look through his memories? <laughs> We've found three distinct ways to do this. I'm just gonna handle Mary's first. Uh, in family pictures, you see that there is definitely a wife or a significant other. You do not see any traces okay, of kids. So she's probably upstairs. So somebody should. All right, so we have two people worth of blood. Two people's worth of blood. So let's just, I guess, do it. All right, five blood points each. Nice. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So now, <laughs> if you get it successfully. Oh, we, oh. well, I assumed uh, Joseph would just incapacitate them both and go to town. Oh, if that's what you oh, want to do. Right now, you guys are downstairs. You just saw the pictures. Okay, so there's probably another uh, upstairs, is what I'll say. So if you want to knock this guy out and then go upstairs and get the other one, or if Hassan wants to go upstairs and get the other one. Well, uh, um, before we, uh, you know, before I knock him out, can I still look through his memories, make sure there's not, like, any upcoming engagements he has to get to that'll cause someone to that. come look at me. Mr. Dohawk. Wits plus subterfuge. <laughs> That is seven. 
I was so worried you were gonna see, but can I blood bond him and then have Lizia turn him into a woman? <laughs> 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 no, this is not the time for that, Josephine. You look yes, through his memories, um, and you do see that he does have work the next morning. He does have like a regular job that he goes to. Uh, well, we'll just I see. Uh, mm. Can I uh, dominate him to uh, call in sick? Uh, yeah, you could do that. All right, cool. Well, yeah, let's go have him act like everything's Jesus. normal. Call in sick. Give me oh, yeah, yeah. a manipulation plus leadership. Uh, that'll be seven. This time you do a little bit better. Um, you have plenty of access to him, and you do get him to basically send an email that he's not feeling well, and that he will not be in the next day. Okay, okay nice. Now you can drain him. Uh, yeah, now, he's, now uh, they can die. And Hassan, did you say you were going up to deal with the woman? I was going to search for him, but if we only know she's there, there's no point. All right. Well, we need to get her. <laughs> Yeah, but I figure Joseph's better than that, that than I am, ironically. Well, he's been dealing with this guy. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, man, just, just go handle it in case she wakes up and, you know... Start screaming or something. Yeah, see this double homicide well, that's in progress. Have Joseph, like, knock this guy out, go upstairs, and, and then we could just... I'm saying you could wait and do that. I'm saying he is dominating him right now. It depends okay. on how much urgency you place on disabling this woman. I'll, I'll go up there, obfuscate it, in case she wakes up and gets downstairs. Okay. Uh, she is awake, um, and you see her basically checking the window outside. Okay, I have my sword ready in case I need to use it. Okay, she starts moving towards the phone. Go ahead and end her breath. Ah. Alright, can I like put a hand over her mouth to silence her and then stab her in the neck? Uh, yeah, she could do that. Right, I'll do that, and I'm prepared to activate Quietus if need be. Alright, give me a Dexterity plus Brawl. I was gonna say, you're you should probably just activate it now. I love that you wanted Joseph to kill somebody. <laughs> <laughs> plus, bra uh, plus Brawl? Anyway, it's a uh, six to specialty. Yeah. You only actually need to stab her if you want. You could just feed off her as well, once you have her. But yes, you so have... Think it'll, it'll, be, it'll be quicker to kill her that way. Yeah, you have disabled her successfully. Okay. Now I'll take my five blood points. All right. Guess what I found. <laughs> yes, if there's nothing else you want to do with them, then you guys can kill them off and take your blood. All right. Yes, kill them off. So five points blood. here if anyone needs five points. All right. so I'm at nine points right now. All right. All right. All right. Twenty-five. I finally assassinated someone. <laughs> finally. How long has it been? It was a civilian woman in a house <laughs> that you guys so, broke into. Broke into. So, let's so, yeah. so wait, how is the blood being divvied off? Um, yes, there is. Okay. Okay. Into the water. okay. okay. Let's, root, let's loot this place while we're at it. You guys yes. 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 Okay. Give me a yeah, perception plus investigation. Sorry, that's me. <laughs> I'm, I'm committed to this horrendous act now. All right. Seven with a specialty and all specs. All right. And Mine what is, is your humanity, by the way, Jean? Yeah, it's not gonna. Well, it's five, <laughs> but it's gonna be four. Okay. And uh, what is your uh, conscience? My conscience is four. All right. Yes, you do lose one point of humanity. Damn, man. This was... You don't feel that bad about what you just did, because nice. you needed to. Like, things had gone yeah. down the shitter. Yeah. yeah, fuck it. So it's nice to save people's lives when it's an option. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Quote-unquote people. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, so as you're rifling through their things now, um, you do find uh, there is... Um, the guy does have, uh, obviously being the nerd that you are, you find that he does have a very nice uh, computer, uh, like a laptop, which is pretty top of the line. Um, you also find that there actually are a couple of pieces of art, which they're definitely not something you would put up in the gallery, but if you sold them off to, you know, the right person, you might be able to get a few hundred for them. I have a 
question. Okay, stick the laptop in the duffel bag. Did we pull the van into the garage or behind the house or something? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. I, I just don't want I'm, put, to I'm putting the laptop into my inventory. It's in the bag now, okay? All right, you've got the laptop. And uh, let's see. Does anyone else want to search this place as well? Yeah, I'll search. All right, sure. so post investigation. Five. Okay. What was yours, Stalworth? Stalworth. Two. Uh, you do not find anything. Uh, Hassan, however, uh, you find some more jewelry. Nice. Alright, and by the time you're finished with all of this, it is basically time for you guys to go to sleep. So, everyone takes off a blood point for the day, and I believe you need to take off a blood point in order to merge with the water. And everyone wakes up uh, the next evening. Nice. So, um, as you guys uh, are awakening, uh, you receive uh, a message. Um, it is How? Jean who receives it on your phone. Um, and it is from uh, the bishop, the guy in charge of the... Uh, the Path of Nocturnal Redemption in Montreal. Bishop Okay, what, what did he say? Um, he asks uh, if you are able to make contact. Should like, are say. you there, basically? Yep. Alright. I will respond, yeah. I'm ready for a call if he wants. Alright, so yeah, he puts you on a call. Okay. He uh, says, Jean, how many of your pack is with you? Uh, all of well, <laughs> not quite. Not all of them. Yeah, that was about it, because of course, because the pack is technically the all seven samurai. Uh, so, four, right? Yeah. Well, three. Ab Abigail doesn't count as a pack, so yeah, four. Yeah, that's true, yeah. All right. Four of us. And where, what is your current position? What is the, where are the rest of the members of your pack? We don't know, we can't contact any of them. Where are you? Quebec. Why are you in Quebec? Because we couldn't contact our ghouls who were supposed to be spying on the Camarilla. <sighs> well, the Camarilla is currently uh, assaulting the city. From what I understand, the Seven Samurai are under siege within their haven. Uh, okay. We can head there right away. It would not be advisable at this time. There is a major uh, police uh, operation that has been in effect all day removing the homeless people. Uh, at night, uh, I'm sure the Camarilla has it under heavy guard. I don't think you would stand much of a chance. All right. Uh, currently, uh, the Widows, your Cyrus pack, are also under siege. I do not know about any others, but it seems as though the Camarilla has some sort of, some source of information from the city. Haru! Any instructions? <laughs> Do you actually shout that out, by the way? I whispered out of my breath to Joseph and Hassan. Haru. Yes. We are going... Uh, right now, there is a nomad pack which is coming in to assist us. Uh, the navigators. Meet them at Lake St. Peter outside of the city. They have a ship called the Lisbon. They should be able to uh, give you further instructions there. I'm not certain that we'll be able to make contact again. Uh, there seems to be some sort of problem with communications. I have reason to believe, of course, that it is the Tremere which may be responsible. Okay. Understood. Alright. So, he hangs up on you. Oh, no, wait, 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 can I, can I say one, one more thing? Alright, if you want to rush it in. By the way, we think we have St. Castine captured. You think or you know? Well, he's known for fleshcrafting others, but uh, we we're pretty sure he's, it's him. Well, We fought his whole pack. It's not a matter that uh, concerns us at this time. We'll deal with it later. Okay. If you do not feel that uh, you can keep a hold of him, then destroy him. Okay. 
All right, and then he hangs up. Okay, so uh, I probably I put put down the speaker so everyone could hear. All right. Uh, so I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind killing Saint Castine. <laughs> And all right. get rid of all the evidence. I just want that chapter of my own life to be closed. Hmm. Well, since it's potentially incriminating to Joseph, I would rather keep him alive. <laughs> you still don't trust me after all we've been through? No. I mean, it's, it's because of all we've been through that I don't trust <laughs> you. That's tough, man. But, uh, I don't know what, I mean, come on, man. You're the one doing bad shit. Like, <laughs> Whoa, did, did you not see how I helped out in that fight? Come on now. Oh, Do you yeah, really don't trust me after how I said I was going to kill your wife? So, uh, boys, let's get in the car and go to the place where we're supposed to meet these other pack. I, I get that. I get we, uh, Montreal is under attack here. Poor Yamamoto. That's true. At the and name I'm at the name of Yamamoto's out. plight, everyone feels yeah, a pang in their say, heart. True, yeah. <laughs> a single tear he runs is, down everyone's he's eyes. Under siege. <laughs> um, so yes, we all hate Joseph. I'm but... actually more bound to Leon than I am to Yamamoto. Oh, yeah. well, well, he's concerned about Yamamoto. Yeah, I was gonna say Leon. Is so by proxy, I am. Yes. I am very distressed about. Also, Yamamoto. your sire is under siege, and I know you care about that. <laughs> oh yeah. Yamamoto is under siege, and your sire is under siege to Dark Territory. And it's probably Haru's fault. Probably. We'll see. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So, you guys are, uh, heading out? Yes. Alright. So you head out to the lake, which is a couple hours' drive away. And, uh, as you're there, you do see, uh... At the arranged meeting spot, you do see uh, the ship, which is actually um, fairly big. It's like a cargo ship, which is a little ways out, but they have a rendezvous set up where they have a smaller dinghy that comes up and to shore and picks there? you up. Are they there? Or... Yes. Okay. Okay. So a representative comes up, gives you the correct Sabat signs, okay. and motions for you to come aboard. Do you have ammo? Uh, on the boat. Cool. So we'll grab our bag of vampire parts and our duffel bag of weapons. Alright. And we'll get on board this ship. Right. So, right. wait, is it, is it a big ship? Can we bring the van onto it? Um, it is a big ship, but it's out at sea. This isn't a proper docking facility. This is like a little small boat has come out to pick you up and will take you out to it. So you're going to be leaving the van here. Okay, so we have to take, uh, St. Castine's body out with us. Yes. Alright. So, you guys head out, and eventually... Can we, um, can we keep the body wrapped in tarp so no one else knows who it is? Yeah. Cool. So, on the boat itself, you are greeted by... By... Stephen and Ryan. Oh, yeah. You have fallen. Now I give you the chance to surrender again. <laughs> uh, you are greeted by a man who introduces himself as Miguel uh, Santo Domingo. Uh, ductus and priest of the Navigators. It's pronounced Miguel. <laughs> Not the way he does it. No. Did you tell him that? <laughs> <laughs> that was out of character to Zach. Alright. So, All right. he welcomes you aboard. Welcome. I am Leon, priest of the seven Well, thank him. Alright, let's head below. Cool. So he takes you into kind of like a crew, uh, like, recreational area. Um, where the mm -hmm. rest of his pack is all gathered up. And they seem mm -hmm. they there are several weapons in here as well that they are readying themselves with. And so he basically stands up and starts explaining the situation to the assembled group, both of your packs. He says, basically, uh, what we know right now is that somehow the Camarilla gained the low uh, knowledge of the location of uh, at least two, possibly more layers of packs within Montreal. 
specifically the Widows and the Seven Samurai. However, of course, as you can see, some members of the Seven Samurai were out at the time and are available for action. So, right now, uh, as far as we can tell, uh, the Camarilla is currently using uh, federal authorities during the day to do as much damage as they can to uh, us during the daytime. They have used the uh, riots as a excuse for this crackdown. However, uh, from what we can tell, the riots do not seem to be genuine. So, he puts down a couple of newspapers on the table. Uh, the first one, you recognize, is the local, uh, a local Montreal paper, which uh, has nothing about the riots. And in fact, it's down in a, a tiny little byline that you see that there is a demonstration near City Hall. Uh, however, the headline of the national paper is, you know, Montreal crippled by rioting. So it's fake news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are now combating our greatest enemy, fake oh, news. It's a deep fake, too. Damn. <laughs> Russian spies. <laughs> exactly. The Camarilla has created some sort of deep state mm -hmm. false flag mm -hmm. operation. Uh, you know. <laughs> and, uh... As you do. So we have two objectives currently. First off, we have been tasked by the Archbishop uh, with uh, reaching the mayor, who is currently under guard by members of the Camarilla, and arranging for her to be freed so that uh, she can uh, denounce the current actions of the federal government of Canada. The second group will be in charge of finding evidence that this is a false flag operation. Anything we can do. So, under the circumstances, I'm looking for volunteers for either group. Wherever you think your, your skills will be most useful. I don't know. Whatever we want to do, guys. Right, so where do we think we belong? Okay, well, I think my answer is obvious. I should do the investigating. I have Auspecs and shit. Alright. Try and find evidence for a false flag? Yeah, I'm not a good fighter, so... Fighting would be me and Joseph. Yeah, In the... So you two are gonna... Can I, can I entrust Abigail to you guys? Yes. Oh... <laughs> Leon says yes. We got this. Alright. Jean hesitates to say yes. Well, that's because Jean killed her already. Um, I didn't kill her. I allowed, allowed her to be killed. <laughs> yes, first, I'll, exactly. to, to you, I will nod suddenly and go, thank you. To John, uh, Sean, I'll grab your shoulder, bit too tightly, <laughs> and go, do not fail me. <laughs> I, will, I will not. I will not. Good. Right. Not this time. <laughs> not this time. Everybody gets one. So... I, so I am, and if uh, it's okay, I will begin to load my two magazines with the ammo in store here. All right. So uh, Miguel and uh, Celeste, the uh, gargoyle, or no, uh, the gargoyle, and Erinier, the gargoyle. We have a gargoyle? Yes. Well, that's interesting. Uh, actually, no, Celeste, uh, Will, and Miguel will both join the attack group, the gargoyle, and uh, the other guy who introduces himself as Santiago de Soto will be staying with the two of you. Oh, a gargoyle. How interesting. I will I will try not to stare. Oh, All right. I'm extremely curious. All right. Uh, while we uh not fighting right now, can I find like some type of weapon to use somewhat yeah. like a saw? Yeah. So you may borrow my knife. They have machetes here. They're willing to hand one out to you. Um, oh yeah, take a machete then. Yeah, I'll take a machete. All right. There's also a fire axe if you would like one of them. Ooh. Uh, Star Wars machete in one hand, fire axe in the other. Around. You're actually strong enough to do that effectively, which I hate. <laughs> <laughs> so which one would be better, one oh, you or two? Both. 
you're gonna take you're gonna take a machete. You're gonna take a fire axe. How does the dual wielding work in this again? Um, you have to split your dice pool between them. Normally, for like uh, some weapons are kind of like two handed, and you can't do it. Although with his level of strength, he could easily wield either of those one handed. Okay, but why would you split your dice pool like that? Um, well, you split your attack pool. The damage is still going to be the same. So you have a less chance of hitting, but if you do hit, you could be doing double damage, essentially. Uh, I'll, I'll take two. <laughs> All right. Just be aware that your two hit is going to be four now. I feel, I feel like... Um... What's it? Josephine's over there, and he's just looking. He's like, okay, a machete, putting that into the duffel bag. Oh, axe, putting that into the duffel bag. Oh, <laughs> this over here, putting that into the duffel bag. Oh, yeah. well, yes. what else is putting that into the duffel bag? I feel like that's what's happening. All right. Could I dual wield uh, my scimitar and my knife? You could do that, too. Okay. I see, now suddenly... Now, now mm. suddenly... <laughs> <laughs> Joseph and I'm going, hey... <laughs> <laughs> he looks funny. down he looks down at his hand and then he's like alright and then he's just kind of casually looking over at something else but then he sees the second hand he's like oh, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> like I reach to give them Joseph my knife in one hand and I pull out my sword with the other to hold myself and just stop <laughs> it like whoa this feels kind of good that's funny <laughs> I can dig this <laughs> also we lost David yeah all right, so we'll do your half of the operation. Oh no, wait, David's back. Okay. Well, yeah, either one. You're gonna have to because since we're split up. All right, so you guys uh, head off your way. Um, yeah. The rest of you get basically dropped back off of the ship. The ship will continue on towards Montreal. Your team, the uh, investigation team, can get into the van. Okay, we're back. We're still in the city. And yeah. We're gonna, so we're trying to find. Uh, information from the city in the city of quebec yes and uh, de soto uh will suggest that maybe uh the first place you should start is trying to look up if someone has been hiring actors um for like uh the protesters to get a group of people together to All make right, it well, seem we got that fancy laptop from that guy so jean i say yeah. we get to an internet cafe and you start doing some hacking. Do we not have, like, 4G on our phones? You could do that, too. Uh, yeah, or we plug in, yeah, whatever. Ha! Huh. You would Technology. Have to, yeah, but you would be using up your data. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. This is not important. <laughs> I, I thought we were out on the dock. I didn't know what our reception would be. I thought we were It's all right, Mary. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we'll do that. All right. I don't know if you wanted a more reliable connection. All right. So you guys uh, basically head into a place where you kind of have cover, and uh, DeSoto suggests that you and um, basically like, wait kind of out of where no one's going to come up on you, and DeSoto suggests that you and um, the gargoyle basically take a look around, just make sure there's no one in the area. He'll stay here and protect so Sean while he gargoyle, starts does investigating. Does he look like a gargoyle? Uh, she does look like a gargoyle, yes. She's got the wings and everything? Yes. And so... I'm just, I'm so curious. I mean, you could start asking if you want to. I'll be like, you know what, you do not have to answer if this is like, if I'm out of line, you just tell me. But, you know, I'm, I'm very curious. I'm very curious about the mystery. It's personal. Okay. No, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, back with uh, the two of you in the car, uh, DeSoto kind of leans over your shoulder, John, as you're investigating. He puts a hand up your thigh. And he says... Uh, what do you know about infernalism? Do I have to roll to hide, uh, to hide my suspicion? <laughs> do you immediately panic? Not Sean, yet. It depends what you say. Nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. I know nothing. Stop accusing me! I have not used Daemonian once. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. I mean, I won't use it. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't have, have it! Never, never, never <laughs> <laughs> I am not in contact with the demon. I am not, nor have I ever been an infernalist. I did not have sexual relations with that demon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, really. How do you respond, though? So how do you respond? 
Do you stiffen? Probably about as much as anyone else in the Sabbath. I'm not, like, well-read on it. I see. So if you learned that there was an Infernalist within your pack, what would you do? How would you react to that? Well, I would freak out. That's for sure. I have suspicions. Let me put it this way. Okay. Did we... Is is St. Castine's body on the boat or was that... Huh, this fool thinks I'm not the Infernalist. Uh, I assume it's still on the boat. <laughs> did we leave... Did we leave St. Castine's body on the boat? We brought it with us onto the you boat. brought it back? Did Is we it on the boat or did you bring it back into the van? Into the van. Where is it at? Did we leave? Did we leave I the boat? Don't know. That's yes. What I'm the, well, the rest of you, Team A, your team did leave the boat. Team B is oh. still on the boat. I see. You guys okay. split up. So, is so we have to decide who takes the body. The yes. Fiend, or is it with us? Well, I suppose it shouldn't be going with people who are going for a fight. That would just be a hindrance. Yeah. So you brought it back into the van? All right. Yeah, he's less of a hindrance with us. Okay. We really should probably just kill him. We really should. <laughs> do it then. Right now, we're do it. Gonna, we're not going to but... like diablerize him. I would rather but just he's... expose him to the sun. We should have probably just done that. You're right. Time. You know what? You're right because if we don't kill him while Joseph's gone, Joseph's just going to try diablerize. That's true. Oh, 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 Out there right now, head off. <laughs> Your question about infernalism has reminded me of something. Help excuse me drag me. something out into a excuse fire pit. Just go cut his head off right now. Yeah, but he's got incriminating information on Joseph. Right now, who cares? Right now. He's I my witness. So I'm bringing him in alive. I care so much. This is this is going to fuck you over. One Saint Castine, one Joseph, yeah. one Rich. One band, one band, one St. Castine, one Joseph. Whatever. Alright, yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna just kill a Mary? Um, I'm out walking around with the gargoyle, uh, making sure so you are alone there with the uh with DeSoto. With DeSoto having a conversation about infernalism. I suggest you don't just be like, Oh, I need to cut the head off of this guy right now. Um, <laughs> I finish that and then we'll have a discussion when I get back to the man. Okay, fine. If he hasn't, like, revived and kill you. Well, that sucks, yeah, because now we've signaled to Zach what our plan is, and yeah, so if exactly. he's gonna do something with it, he's gonna do it now. Exactly. <laughs> so, just so you know. Told you we So what is your response to his question? You said you would freak out? Uh, I said I would freak out, and then right. he said he has suspicions of who it was, so yes. I think the, so, the next thing I want to ask is who we think it is. Can I count on you to do the right thing? Always. All right. I always try to do the right thing. Follow my lead. Oh my god, he thinks it's Lizia. Yeah? Of course, it's always as Mincy, don't you know that? I will finish what Mary the Black started. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a that's a lubri. That's a lubri. <laughs> All right. Salubri, the one class worse so, than So, uh, he looks through the window, he looks over at the two of you, and he makes a motion, and the gargoyle, uh, grabs you by your arms and holds them behind your back. What the fuck? She says, hold still. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, DeSoto gets out of the car, Jean, and he motions for you to follow. I'm gonna look at Jean. What the fuck? Uh, DeSoto, what is this? I believe we have found the Infernalist. Lysia is oh, not an Infernalist. Lysia <laughs> is not, no, I'm gonna say, no, 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 shut up, I'm gonna say, Lysia is not an Infernalist, I will answer back immediately. Alright. Well, when she's denying it, here's a question, are you using Auspex to see whether it's truthful? <laughs> Yeah, is there, I might any, as well. is there any hesitation? <laughs> <laughs> Perception <laughs> plus empathy, then. I, you will see that I am immensely pissed. Seven with a specialty. Alright. 
You see the signs of infernalism as her powers activate. No. <laughs> you don't see any signs of lies yet. Okay. He turns to you, and then he, John, and then he turns back to you, Lysia, and walks up to you and takes the amulet around your neck. And he says, perhaps you'd like to explain this then. If you remember back in episode one, yeah. you took the amulet of memories from a certain midget. You found it in his uh, condo when you broke in. Yeah. And everybody was there. Mm-hmm. When I did it. Yep. Wow. Yep. And you saw it was magic of and some kind and you yoinked it. Did I ever, we, did we ever get the memories out of there? Because we were after the midget. I forgot I even had this thing. I, uh oh. Wow. Well, so I, we we're like, yeah, oh, and that was from the midget that we eventually yep. found. Was yeah, so, I so, I um, it, so I didn't realize that it was infernalist. So, so well, is that seriously what you say in character? Because that's kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, no, I forgot I even I had this I thing. Really, I, I'm like absolutely <laughs> befuddled because I don't no, I mean, I forgot that I had the amulet, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know so, why like, I, I will... I mean, if I knew the midget was an infernalist, I don't know why I would you, have the amulet. Uh, do we you still have the point being... of investigation on your sheet? Yes, I do. Then you still are wearing the amulet. Okay. Well, so... We will both begin to explain, presumably, how we came across so, this amulet. Yes, that, yes, that is an amulet that we found. I see. So you claim that you were unaware that it works as a vehicle to allow uh, demonic contact between, uh, with, for anyone within the area. You motherfucker. Wow. You I motherfucker. I was that that was the case, yes. He kind of studies you very carefully, and then he studies you carefully, Johnny says, is what Leon is saying the truth? All right, I'm using aspects on, on her right now. Did she lie there? You did not see any sign of lying. All right, I will tell you. I will, tell you, uh, I will answer then that I don't see any signs of lying. I'm using aspects on her right now. I have my own means. Based <laughs> on your knowledge of the situation, do you believe this is the truth? That she wasn't aware that that was the amulet's effect? Yes. I believe that is the truth. I believe she was not aware. We will not summarily execute you at this moment. However, we have a greater problem. Even if you are not corrupted, it is possible that any member of your pack could have been contacted by a demonic entity. I will not. <laughs> I swear to God, Mary, if you wrap me out here. No, I, I will stare right into this guy's eyes. I am not even glancing over at you at all. In fact, it may be more than one. Which means that every other member of your pack is under suspicion. Okay, so if this amulet is the problem, is there a proper way to dispose of it? Yes. And if we did so, would that sever the ties if anyone is in contact with the demon? He uh, pulls out a handkerchief and he takes the amulet off of you. He open, takes out a small box from his pocket and he places the amulet inside and closes it. And says, uh, over time, its effects should cease naturally. So as long as no one has made an active contact with the demon, they should not have any further contact with it. As long as nothing, no souls have been handed over, contracts signed in blood, etc. All right. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Okay, well then, the possible St. Castine... Yeah, so that would that so that is that is the perfect that is the perfect segue to well actually. We have Justine in the van, we should probably kill him. He goes back to the van, opens up the back, drags the body out. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Grabs no. a machete. Head off. Okay. Problem solved. Problem solved, thank you. Problem solved. 
Whatever. No, I wanted someone to dominate and look through his memory, see if that was real, real. Too late. Too late. We weren't gonna. I, well, I you could have done that if you were more fucking trustworthy. You're the one to dominate. <laughs> um, oh, oh he's since, a higher generation since, than since me. Since I was Lower. about to be torn apart by a gargoyle, um, I was ready to just let that go. Under the circumstances, do you have any suspicions of any members of your pack that may have been influenced by the demon while the amulet was active? I am so tempted to rat out Harley at this moment <laughs> in time, but I will not. So I will say no. Thinking back to my dear, my dearest Yamamoto, who told me in no uncertain terms that there was no infernalism within our pack. Besides you. Besides me. As it turns out. As it turns out, I and me. realize. And, and you, and as me. Daemonin. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it be the twins or something. Oh, God above. It's, it's... So he turns to you, Jean, and basically the same question. Anything you have to tell the group? No. Very well. Then, from this moment forward, we will watch everyone very carefully. We will not make any further moves. I believe we have a task to accomplish. Understood. I'm going to sit in a corner and sulk. All right. Is what I'm doing. You okay, Leon? I'm, I'm a little pissed off. Oh, and you can take off that point of investigation. Yeah, I already, you know. <laughs> I didn't even, I don't even have it on my sheet that I had an animal on. I don't remember this hardly at all. You put the point of investigation on there. I did. You did. I did. No, I, I know that I did, but I was just like, I don't know anywhere. That was a long con. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. long, I have yeah. been waiting a long time for the reveal of who was the source of the infernalism. <laughs> Because pretty much everyone has been accused except Lysia. Yeah. I bet well, you thought we would, like, eventually realize. Apparently I actually had an amulet. No idea, I had an amulet. Wow, that's, it was surprising so, even Zach. to Lysia, it was surprising. <laughs> Can I ask, Zach, did you think we would eventually realize about the amulet? Um, by no, this point, no. I thought you might be obviously. suspicious of it way earlier than this. But yeah. I don't see why, like, in episode 15, you guys would yeah. suddenly be like, hey, that amulet, I bet it's bad news. Yeah, well, okay, who else remembered I had an amulet? Nope. Uh, yeah, okay, nah. so you, we all had totally forgotten about it. Alright. Yeah, but you're the one who should be keeping track of the fucking amulet that you yeah, own, alright? what, number one, and then we had to go fight demons or something? And, uh, yeah, I wasn't mm -hmm. writing down something. I wrote down a dot of in investigation and then totally <laughs> That's so why I'm glad there was a stat buff so that we could uh, yeah. assert okay. <laughs> whether you were wearing it or not. All right. So, uh, give me a intelligence plus computers roll. Sure. <clears throat> Six. All right. So as you're kind of digging through, um, like, some websites, you do find uh, that there does seem to have been, like, kind of a general acting call put out for um, people in the Montreal area to appear. Well, it's posted through, like, acting stuff, but st yeah, basically. Um, for people to appear for, a, like, a protest in front of City Hall Paid at the time. protesters, oh my god. Yep. The uh, call was specifically for French-speaking actors. All right, so we got some evidence. Yes. Okay, so let's record that. Um, you've also managed to find on social media, just looking about the riots, it seems like people have been posting their own video of the quote-unquote riots, and it seems to clearly be like a handful of people. Um, and the police, the local police, easily dealt with them. Well, now we wait on the others, suggests DeSoto. Okay. So, moving back over with the others. Should we be heading back toward Montreal? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I'm still 
sulking in the back. So, the attack group. Uh, you guys... Alright, wait, give me a second, because I have to send a secret message to someone in the attack <laughs> group. This stalwart is gonna betray everybody. Secret really message to me. Us. No, it's a secret message to me operating my infernalism. <laughs> Secrets make things more interesting. They sure do. <laughs> I guess. Sorry, this is a long one, so... I see. Mm. You killed how many people? <laughs> Any guesses of what the secret's gonna be about? Give me a second, I need to respond. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part of the session. <laughs> David, we could already hear you start laughing. It's no good turning off your mic now. It's a bit late for that. <laughs> so now, now, now I'm starting to get worried. I, I have a feeling he sent messages to everyone to cover his tracks. I see. <laughs> you were laughing a lot, and that's not a good sign, I don't think. Yeah, it's very suspicious. <laughs> What's with all the laughter? <laughs> yeah, what is with all the laughter? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's angrily typing a response. You can't re read any of this. Mary just tried to cheat. I can't play amulet anymore. I can't investigate. Book's sake. Is that for real? I don't know. Are you being for real? I'm saying you have the option to use it. Are you choosing to use it? Yes, do it. I don't Whatever it is, do it. I'm saying do it. But I don't know how serious your original message to me was, Doc. That's not really fair. <laughs> I can't tell you how serious it is. Do you want to or not? <laughs> do it. I don't, I don't know what this could do. Alright. That's not fair. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a dirty trick, Zach. Uh, I asked if you wanted to use it or not. Yeah, but you said something beforehand that was uh, very misleading. Mm. Someone for fuck's fell sake, for just the do old it, whatever it send is. everyone joke messages. 
and someone <laughs> panicked and made a bad decision. Yikes. All right, so John's just going to kill us all with the fireball, right? No, he okay. feels fine. Fine. So far. You are. All right. So. All right. We're heading back to the other team. Montreal. Well, well Jean's. <laughs> well, Jean is freaking out. Well, Jean is making a deal with the demon right now. He seems fine. To you. I don't, I'm sulking in a corner. All right. So. It is. Uh, so you guys arrive at the sort of nice-ish location where uh, the mayor lives. The attack squad. Mm -hmm. So, first things first, you guys basically do a, a pass around just through the neighborhood. Um, they got a car waiting for them in Montreal that you guys could get into. All right. And uh, you definitely can tell that the place seems to be under guard uh, from the the federal police, basically. Mm -hmm. So. So do these guys have a plan to get in? Miguel is kind of he's appraising the situation. He's thinking it would be tells you guys it would be unfortunate uh, if we ended up creating a bloodbath right outside the mayor's residence. Yeah, that would be bad. Yes, unfortunate. So. My notion is that we should attempt to create a distraction which will draw off the uh, as many defenders as possible while having another attempt to enter covertly. That is my specialty. And, uh, you know, being calling attention to himself is kind of Joseph's specialty. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> this is true. All right. So what is... Uh, they will help you basically create a distraction. They want it to be big enough and obvious enough that you get most of, at least, the camera agents in the area following you. Well, before we do this, could I put some uh, accurate damage on my sword? Yes, absolutely. But then I'll put two points on there. All right. So... As... Uh, you guys are, you know, getting ready. So what exactly, what distraction do you guys want to uh, come up with? Well, Joseph, what are you thinking, at least? Well, you're entirely up to you, my man. You're the only player character involved in the... Uh, you're a woman. ...in the distraction team. Uh, all right, when I say big enough, like... What do you mean, like an explosion or something? Do something chaotic that would get the police to follow you, basically. Oh, oh I, need, I just need the police to follow me. Mm. Well, what do we have, uh... What do we have at our disposal? Uh, well... You basically have yourself, you have the guns, um, you have a vehicle. Hassan gets out of it in order to... could get out of it in order to get in there. Another two. Well, do we need this vehicle to escape? Um, not if the plan goes off correctly and he's able to sneak inside, no problem. Hmm, okay. Well, uh... You guys get texted with the relevant information from the investigation squad about the uh, the falseness of the riots. Mm. So if I just like kill like if I just go up to the police station and just kill somebody like one of the police officers and just drive off that well, would be good enough right? 
the thing is, is, well, you're not really at the police station, you're at, they're guarding the mayor's residence, so you could kill one of them, although that might be a little bit suspicious, and it might actually go against the story you're telling, which is that there are no riots. Yeah, you, you probably don't want to kill people. But, you know, but, you if you know, were to fire off weaponry and nobody was harmed, they would still have to chase after you because you are wielding a gun and you're That'll work. That'll work. I know we always have to pull Star Wars back from just outright killing people. <laughs> ah, I could, uh... Hmm. You could, uh, what? Well, I was thinking I could just walk up to, um... Walk, walk up to him, go, hey, follow me. Well, okay. No. <laughs> you are okay. I was going to go out there, show him off, and, you know, be like, hey, this is No, I was thinking you know, I could dominate him into making him think I'm like a terrorist or something, and then have one of the guards <laughs> screaming out, and then I start running away. There is a much faster way to make people think you're a terrorist, you I can just say. Walk up, just fire off a gun. Okay, well, <laughs> that'll yeah, work then. Just fire at them while yelling out Allahu Akbar. Yeah. Wait. But if you do that, then and you know, there's terrorism going on. Well, if you make it clear that you're an Islamic terrorist, then that's not related yeah, to no, the... Related. <laughs> yeah. Hassan should be the so terrorist. <laughs> oh, come on, pal. That might still not might justify the police presence that we're trying to get rid of. <laughs> or ISIS. Here's, here's what Joseph does. He looks over at Hassan and says, Okay, so give me some sort of terrorist phrase, Hassan. And, and I'll pretend What the fuck, terrorist. my man? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell him some shit to say in Arabic. <laughs> Let's do it. Are you seriously what, going what you, and being a terrorist? What do you want to say in Arabic? Is there a better idea? What do you want to say in Arabic? I don't know. In the name of Allah. I mean, I imagine you're probably going to shout out Allah Akbar, but anything else? No, I, I feel like that sums it up. <laughs> okay. Are you actually going to like, shoot a gun, or are you going to do something? Like, what are you going to do as you shout this? As you shout well, I, before I do this, like, once again, any are there any better ideas? I really want to see you go down this route. Okay, alright. No, it's your choice, it's your choice. If you have better ideas, by all means, go for it. Uh... You don't have to be a terrorist. I mean, anybody walking by in Canada shooting off a gun is going to get attention. Now, if you want to go the terrorist route, you know, that's just a little added. I feel like terrorism might make people think that it's okay, uh, whatever is going on is okay. So I'm just gonna go regular crazy person with a gun. So I'm gonna walk in front of him, shoot a gun up in the air, then I'm gonna run. All right. So, it is, uh, well, you're just firing up in the air, you're shouting out, and you're, <laughs> uh, after you do that, uh, they, you do in fact get quite a bit of people chasing you. <laughs> and you have the vehicle? Mm-hmm, I hop in and I start driving. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, not bad for a little oh, football, um, there's only one of them left. So guys, when you, uh, capture the mayor and convince them to come out and say there's absolutely no actual violence going on and everything's actually fine. This won't bite you in the arse. Exactly. <laughs> it's, fine. it's fine. It's just one crazy woman. Mm -hmm. Sure. He is a woman, so it, it is going to be she's like, you know, she's hormonal, she's hysterical, she was not in any way related to the other, you 
someone's typing. Yeah, it's Zach. <laughs> Which makes me quite worried. Oh my god. Well, you said, did I, was, that, was that the wrong version of V again? The conversation going on between David and Zach is quite intense. He 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 he. Paragraphs here going back and forth. He 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 he. These are the best sessions. Yeah. <laughs> so while I'm while I'm in there, what exactly am I to be doing? Also, just getting the president, the president, the mayor. You're gonna get the mayor, and then she's gonna willingly just be like denouncing uh, the the federal police. So yeah, but how do I make how do I make her do that? Because I I am not good at convincing people outside of my audience. Actually, that probably would have been better if I did that. Cause I just dominate her. It's a bit late for that now. <laughs> it is too late for that now, yes. So, so. Probably should have thought this one through a little bit more. It's fine. Yes. Well, Look, what's gonna happen is some woman outside just fired a gun and then a Middle Eastern man is gonna appear before her and go, everything is fine. Is the mayor being held against her will? We'll find out. Because if she's being held against her will, she's just going to do it. You're going to rescue her. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it'll be fine. I don't know if she's being held against her will, though. Come to find out she's been dominated by someone hey, already. Leon, I, I am separating myself from my character because I think Leon's going to be dead by the time. <laughs> from all of the back and forth. Yeah. Uh, David was typing to me things about how he was going to save you and help you. So Leon's dead. <laughs> um, I actually know how exactly I can help Leon in certain situations. Leon's dead. <laughs> no, no. I can use. I can use. I can use what I have done to help. I can use what I have done for good. Exactly, Zach. All right. So, um, you could be safer now than you ever have been. You are safer anyway, now I'm than you ever have been. I'm apologizing to Miles because I am unfortunately dead and can no longer say that. All right. So, oh, no. so uh, most of the police, some of the police do remain behind, but a lot of the groups do go after the crazy person. Well, I'm obfuscated, so I'll try to sneak around them. Um, and you do notice another unmarked car, which seems to go after them as well. Hmm. Hmm. That'll be the vampires. Hmm. So, you are obfuscated? I am indeed. Alright. So, you get around to kind of the back way. Um, so, first off, there are uh, a ton of security cameras around. So, give me a, a wits plus security. That would be six. All right, you manage to avoid the sweeps of the security cameras and get to a entrance into the house. It is locked, of course. All right. Electronically or with a regular lock? With a, like, a key lock. Okay. Can I attempt to open it with uh, a lockpick? Uh, yes, you can. I will do so. All right. Dexterity plus security. Eight. All right, so you open up the door. Right, very quietly sneak in. All right. Close the door behind me again. So the place seems to be uh, pretty quiet, actually. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people around. Give me uh, a perception plus alertness. That would be six. All right. You're about to run into someone when you actually see that there is a figure uh, sitting in a chair in a room you pass. They seem to be slumped over, though. Okay. Uh, it is like I don't a male I don't believe figure. that's anyone else. You haven't seen anyone so far. This is just kind of like the first room you pass. It is a male figure, though, and you know that the mayor of Montreal is a woman. Are they moving at all, or completely they motionless? They seem to be completely still and kind of like slumped over like they're asleep. Okay, I will very quietly sneak up behind them and try to listen if they're breathing. 
Uh, as you are getting up closer, you do not hear breathing, and you can see that there is red along the neckline where the throat has been cut. You know, the temptations have a little sip is there. <laughs> There's nobody else in the room? No. Let's take a point real quick. All right. As you're about to take a point, you hear a scream from upstairs. Okay, never mind. We are heading upstairs. Right. Still up, it's still sneaking. Uh, ah, everything is going wrong. All right. <laughs> so, for me or for you? How, how quickly are you moving? How far do I believe this? I mean, it's coming from upstairs. This is a big house. This is a, like a mayor house. And somebody's obviously attempting to kill the mayor. Okay, what I do is I'll move like one room at a time, but in the individual rooms, I'll move quickly. All right. It's like I'll go to a room, scan the room, anything in there, quickly move through. All right. So, uh, as you are, as you reach the second floor, you hear a gunshot. And uh, the screaming kind of seems to get weaker. Okay. Quickly hurry over there. All right. As you kind of burst into the room, you can see no, there. No, still. No, no, no bursting. No bursting. <laughs> as you <laughs> slink into the room. You can see there is a figure uh, standing in a bedroom. Um, it's standing over someone or something on the other side of the bed. You can't see what it is. Pointing a gun down at it. Prepare celerity and also, uh, yeah, let's attack with my sword. All right, give me a dexterity plus melee. That would be eight specialty and surprise acts, which I do believe this counts as. Yes, I will give it to you. There was no one else in the room, right? Uh, not that you can see. Okay, I'll, I'll hope that's... <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, the damage on this? Oh, we're actually Quietus, Quietus first, Quietus. Alright. Before I take well, before attacking Quietus. It, it takes a blood point to activate Quietus, I believe, right? It does. Alright, then you cannot activate Celerity this turn. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, Quietus. And then immediately slash him down with that. Alright. So, uh, what's the damage? That would be four plus three automatic aggravated. All right. All right. So you basically come up behind this guy and you just like slit his throat. Uh, you can see from where you are that he has a uh, shot a woman who is down there. Um, the mayor. It. Most likely. I mean, you don't know for sure, um, but you haven't seen, like, a picture of the mayor of Montreal. It matches the description pretty well. Okay, uh, is there anything I can do to help her? Um, she does not seem to be dead. You could try and apply first aid. Uh, that would be a medicine roll, wouldn't it? Yep, dexterity plus medicine. Okay, I'll, I'll wing it. Just dexterity. Just it's medicine. five. <laughs> it's five. All right. Yeah, you tie up some strips of cloth from, like, the bedspread and put it around the wound to stop the bleeding. Um, you're not sure how good of a job you've done, but that's pretty much all you know how to do. Okay. Uh, well, now what to do with her? Uh, Check well, her back out? Your job was to somehow convince her to, uh, denounce the actions of the, uh... Well, I think, um, it's pretty clear that, uh, you saved her and the federal government tried to kill her, so, um... She is, like, fading in and out of consciousness. You could try and talk to her if you wanted to. <laughs> she has weakly asked, who the hell are you? I am an ally. Okay, so what... Do I just need to admit to denounce it? Pretty much just come out against it. Ask them to leave, that sort of thing. Okay, I will do that. So. <laughs> Alright, how do you phrase this? Ah, uh, shit, I'm not good at this. <laughs> so you have the evidence that there are actually no riots. Mm -hmm. So you're like, there's no riots, why are the federal police here? You need to, you know, you need to get the federal government out of our city. Mm -hmm. You need to denounce the federal government. Well, the federal police, was it? Government? I'm so bad at this. I mean, the government, that works. Yeah. Okay, federal government. The riots have been faked. Who? Why would someone fake riots? 
I believe this is an attack on our city. Who's behind this? I don't know, but I will find out. Who are you? Terrorist. <laughs> I, am an, I am an ally. I represent an organization that will help you. ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> I could comply with absolutely <laughs> to be ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> I have an interest in keeping this city safe. Salih <laughs> Lassawari. <laughs> she's like, uh, and then she kind of like passes out. She loses consciousness. Probably get her to a hospital. Yes, yeah, so I'll bring her out with me. I should. All right. That's, I can't think of anything else I could do. There are more. There. I mean, most of the guards have left, but there are still some guards outside. Hmm. Is there any way to get out without being seen by those guards? Um, by yourself, uh, yes, but with her, no. Hmm. How many guards are we talking about here? Um, like several members of the. I don't know what the. None of them were coming in when they heard her scream. No, it does not seem like it. So they were obviously behind this. Why did they want to kill the mayor? There are only a know. few of them. You could go down and deal with them, although... That would be... Although... I mean, you know, again, that creates more of a footprint. Yeah. It seems like uh, the mayor was in the process of trying to reach the phone to call for help when she was attacked. And maybe you need to call the city police. Call the what? The city police. I can't hear you at all, sorry. The city police. Call the Montreal police. That's quite a good idea. So, I will do just that. But I assume I can at least look up the number. You look up, well, you can look up just 911 uh, or, or whatever the Canada Yeah, the local 911. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you call the emergency services and they ask what your emergency is. Right then, I'll state them um, where I am, and I'll say, there's a person here who appears to have been shot. She needs immediate care. Okay, we'll send an ambulance. Is the shooter still in the area? I believe he is no longer with us, no. Alright, so police and ambulance will be uh, dispatched to your location uh, immediately. Very well. All right. Do you get out of there? Uh, should I not? I should probably make sure the ambulance actually makes it in here. That it's not stopped before it gets here. Yeah. So uh, when, where do you want to wait and see that from? In a room across this place. The room here. All right. So, so after... like PR key, a PR keyhole. Yeah. Uh, after some time passes, uh, the um, an ambulance does show up, and the uh, federal uh, agents meet them outside the door. And um, basically, there are local cops, and there is the ambulance, and they are trying to turn them back. That's what I figured would happen. So they are kind of like having a disagreement with each other. They're, they're, well, they're not really disagreeing that much, but they're just kind of talking to each other. The federales seem to be uh, assuring the locals that there is no yeah, actual emergency. Escape, run down there and go, the mayor's been shot! And then the police are just going to bust out. What you need to do is break off and say, go down there, run down there with your sword and yell, ah, who up? <laughs> <laughs> could, I, could I not just take the guy's gun and fire a shot? You could do that, yes. That'll, show, that'll get their attention. <laughs> Alright. Well, once you fire the gunshot, uh, they kind of look at each other, and then uh, they seem to be sort of hesitating as to what to do. Um, but I also then, have to get again immediately afterwards. Yeah, and then they, they all start coming in. Yeah, I start making my way out. Trying to convince people that there's no actual violence. Thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Well, you know. well there's been a shooting in here. I don't think it's. 
the mayor has a gunshot shots. wound. Yeah. It's hard to say there's no yeah, shooting. There's been two shots so far. Yeah, as you're heading back out of this place, you can see there were a number of uh, like private security people who are dead here. Yeah. Uh, who seem to have been killed by the federal agents. So, How'd we go? Hope that, that, that it, you know, it's all, it's all going to be covered up, but you know. All right. And uh, that is pretty much where we are going to end uh, this session. So when we pick up next time, you guys can all try and regroup and deal with well, Leon's dead. everything has occurred. You're actually not dead. I'm not dead? No. Jean has not chosen yeah. to use what he gained to kill you okay. yet. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Wow. So everyone gets experience. So first off, what did we learn? David, what do you learn? You can type it to me in chat if you want to say it. <laughs> mm. Unless well, you want to pick it something else. You know, let's just say I learned what we discussed in chat. Okay. Uh, Lizia, what did you learn? Well, one, I learned I had an amulet, and two, I learned gargoyles were in the savant. <laughs> I learned I had an amulet. I learned the amulet was evil. Uh, Miles? I learned that the situation at the hospital was a setup. Alright. And Joseph? Uh, I learned that I could dual wheel. <laughs> Alright. And uh, I think we also all learned that our, my wife is a traitor. Oh, yeah. She's, well, we oh, that was last time. She's definitely a traitor. Definitely. So, uh, now it is role-playing award, so we'll have David vote first. Hmm. Well, actually, no, wait, Mary, you won last I time. Won you should vote first. Time, so who do I want to... I'm gonna... Ooh. I'm gonna vote for David because he just unleashed the gun. <laughs> 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 and I just feel like I feel John like that was actually a a very good. All right. I feel like John grew as a character at that moment. So the gun unleasher. Yeah. And the whole you just, can vote just next. Letting go with the divine tide. Draining people. Yeah, I think that was a very good moment for Jean because it was like a complete repeat of the last time he thought he was doing the right thing by giving up. Yeah. Yeah. He was so, like, you know, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like Jean is now. He's, he's in the divine tide. He's in, you know, he's he's embraced it. He's like, I get it. My wife's a traitor. I'm just going to kill people now. He's a lot less conflicted, that's for sure. Yeah. And then seek redemption so anyway, for it. That, that's why I'm voting for you. All right. So, David, who are you voting for? Well, it's a shame Mary won last time because I liked her performance. <laughs> I tried to say that uh, she was the infernalist. That was good. But, uh, hmm. Well, let's see. Stallworth, when he eventually remembered how his uh, girl was in the hospital. <laughs> that was good. And uh, it was definitely the right for, right for his character that he was the most eager to have the fight. All right, yeah, I'll give it to Stallworth. All right, Stallworth, who are you voting for? Uh, I I'll go with Mary. Can't vote for me. I won't want to watch. Oh shit! Uh, I'll go with David then. Mm. All right, and Miles. I'm going for David as well. All right, so David, you pick up four experience points. Everyone else gets three, and that's basically ah, it. You for... fools! You've given me Damonian too. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't spend it yet. Um, Damoinen, you are allowed to upgrade it with experience points whenever you oh, wish, even out of. Tied? More like demonic times. <laughs> no, I figure. I figure it's all. It's us versus John. In the like, John's gonna be like. Although it will require you to actually sign the contract, assuming you haven't already. I will finish what Mary the Black Stars. <laughs> <laughs> so that is basically it for the stream and the recording. So thank you everyone who joined us, and we will see you next week. Alrighty. See you. Yeah.